turn it up and bring my light. Look at that. Imagine controlling lightning, bending it through the air as if it were a thread of light on command. Scientists have long tried to guide electric discharges, but they usually behave in wild and unpredictable ways. A new experiment has changed that. Using sound, specifically ultrasonic waves, researchers have found a way to guide plasma, the same state of matter as lightning, through open air. It sounds like science fiction, yet it is real physics at work. This is the story of how sound waves can direct plasma like an invisible hand guiding electricity. The chaotic nature of lightning. Lightning, sparks, and other electric discharges often appear random. When a bolt of plasma strikes, its path twists and branches unpredictably. This happens because electricity does not always choose the shortest or simplest route. Instead, it follows the path that is easiest to ionize. Ionization means stripping electrons from air molecules so current can pass through. Sometimes that path is surprising. For example, a spark can travel along a glass surface rather than straight through open air. The surface of the glass provides an easier way to ionize, even if the path is longer. That makes controlling lightning, or any form of plasma, extremely difficult. Scientists must create a path that is easy to ionize before a high voltage is released. If not, the spark simply chooses its own chaotic route. Old methods of guiding plasma. In earlier experiments, researchers tried using powerful lasers to guide electric discharges. The laser would heat and ionize a path in the air, forming a temporary channel that a spark could follow. It worked, but it came with problems. The laser itself could do more damage than the plasma. It required large amounts of energy and could burn or damage surrounding materials. So, despite its success, the laser approach was not practical for most applications. It was expensive, dangerous, and limited to controlled laboratory environments. Scientists needed a safer and simpler way to create a predictable path for plasma to travel. The question remained, could something more natural and less destructive than light be used? The answer, unexpectedly, came from sound. The hidden power of sound waves. Sound is a wave of pressure traveling through air or other materials. It pushes and pulls on particles as it moves. When sound moves between materials of different densities, it creates a small net force at the boundary. This is known as the acoustic radiation force. This force is invisible, but its effect is measurable. When ultrasonic transducers, devices that generate very high frequency sound, are placed facing each other, they can form what's called a standing wave. In a standing wave, some regions of the air vibrate strongly while others barely move. The points of no movement are called nodes, and the points of maximum pressure fluctuation are antinodes. Large or rigid particles tend to move towards the nodes, while smaller or more flexible ones drift toward the antinodes. This principle allows scientists to levitate small particles or droplets in midair using sound alone. It's not magic, just physics. The sound wave's pressure creates a balance that holds the object in place. This same mechanism turns out to be the key to controlling plasma. Sound meets heat. The link between sound and plasma lies in how sound interacts with heat. When air heats up, it becomes less dense and gains lower acoustic impedance. This makes the air respond differently to sound waves. Within a standing ultrasonic field, regions of hot air are pushed towards the antinodes. Now, plasma, like lightning, is extremely hot. Each spark heats the air around it in a fraction of a second. Normally that hot air rises and mixes randomly with cooler air, but if the spark occurs within a controlled standing wave, the ultrasonic pressure traps the hot air in specific regions. Researchers built a circular array of ultrasonic transducers that produced a strong standing wave pattern. The center of this ring became a stable antinode, a vertical column where hot air is guided upward. When plasma forms near this center, the ultrasonic wave pushes the hot air into a single straight channel, creating a path for electricity. Hot air has another important property. It lowers the breakdown voltage of air. Breakdown voltage is the minimum voltage needed for a spark to jump between two points. 
hotter air ionizes more easily, so it takes less voltage to make electricity flow. In a simple experiment, when a stream of hot air from a heat gun is blown between two electrodes, a spark appears instantly. Remove the hot air, and no spark forms. That shows how temperature creates a path for electric discharge. By pulsing a Tesla coil thousands of times per second, scientists can repeatedly generate sparks that heat the air. These pulses build up a warm, low-density channel right through the antinode formed by the ultrasonic waves. Each new spark follows this hot path, creating a continuous, guided plasma beam. What was once a random series of flashes now becomes a single straight line, glowing bright and controlled. Watching lightning obey. The moment the system is activated, the Tesla coil fires bursts of plasma. The ultrasonic ring captures the heat and channels it upward. A glowing line of plasma appears, tracing the invisible path formed by the sound wave. Instead of scattering in all directions, the sparks stay aligned in a narrow beam. At around 2,000 pulses per second, the plasma appears continuous to the eye, like a thin rod of lightning frozen in motion. The sound field keeps it steady and centered, no matter how chaotic the electric pulses are underneath. The effect is both elegant and powerful, a visible demonstration of sound shaping energy. When viewed in slow motion, the plasma forms layer by layer. The first few sparks warm the air and the following ones lock onto that channel, amplifying it further. What remains is a perfectly straight, glowing line, a plasma filament guided entirely by sound. Precision and control. Once the plasma is under control, the possibilities expand. By adjusting where the ultrasonic transducers sit, or how their phases are tuned, scientists can steer the plasma path in different directions. Move the focus point slightly, and the lightning follows. Shift the pattern, and the plasma curves around obstacles. This precise control allows electricity to travel through the air in ways never seen before. Circuits can be closed wirelessly, sparks can be guided through predefined routes, and plasma channels can even be made to touch specific objects. The technology works not through brute force, but through subtle balance. The sound waves continuously shape the surrounding air, creating dynamic paths for the electricity to follow. Each adjustment in frequency or intensity changes how the plasma moves, making this method flexible, energy efficient, and surprisingly quiet. Potential uses Guided plasma is more than a laboratory curiosity. It could redefine how we manipulate high-voltage electricity. In power systems, it could allow for non-contact electrical connections that form and disappear on command. In manufacturing, it might focus on plasma welding or cutting to precise points without mechanical movement. The ability to steer plasma could also improve environmental or medical technologies. For instance, controlled plasma can sterilize surfaces, treat pollutants, or trigger specific chemical reactions in mid-air. Even in entertainment or tactile feedback systems, ultrasonic plasma could create visible shapes or physical sensations that appear to hover in space. Because the system depends on sound and heat, not lasers or dangerous radiation, it is relatively safe and cheap to build. This makes it accessible to researchers in many different fields, from physics to robotics. What once seemed like science fiction now looks like a practical engineering tool. The physics behind the beauty. At its heart, this experiment is a demonstration of energy interaction across scales. The ultrasonic field operates at tens of kilohertz, far below the frequencies of light, but powerful enough to move air molecules. The Tesla coil, on the other hand, operates at high voltages that excite electrons and form plasma. These two forces, mechanical vibration and electrical energy, work together. The sound waves sculpt the air, while the plasma responds to the changing air density. The result is a feedback loop, where sound guides heat, and heat guides electricity. This reveals a deeper truth about physics. Everything connects through medium and energy. By understanding how waves, whether light, sound, or electric, interact, scientists can design new ways to control matter itself. 
The guided plasma experiment is one more step toward mastering the invisible forces of nature. Conclusion Guiding plasma with sound may look like a visual trick, but it is a milestone in understanding how energy behaves. For the first time, lightning-like discharges can be shaped and steered through air using nothing but ultrasonic pressure. No lasers. No complex optics. Just the physics of sound and heat working in harmony. This method shows how control does not always need more power. Sometimes it only needs precision. With more research, guided plasma might power new kinds of devices, displays, or sensors. It proves that even the chaos of lightning can obey a pattern when sound becomes its silent conductor.